is live at Beacon Heights Elementary in Salt Lake City, the site of today's Pinpoint Weather School. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much. Yes, here at Beacon Heights Elementary, a very special weather school today, is it not? Is it not a very special weather school today? Oh, yeah. It is very... It's very so, so special. Thank you so much for being with us with our second graders, right? Which is, you're pretty much, you're, you can just say we're in third grade at this point, right? Right? It's finished up. Now, with our school district here in Salt Lake City, we are a couple weeks away. So our school districts are starting to close for the end of the year. But the reason why this is such a special weather school, because unfortunately, this is our last one of the year coming back in. But believe it or not, we've actually been able to squeeze in a few things today. Already talked about some weather and some of our unique spots. One of the things I love in our weather schools are seeing where the schools are located in our unique spots where they can observe the weather and, and observe what's coming in. Today, though, we mentioned there's something different going going on with our weather. So if you were listening really closely, which I know all of you were, who can tell me what's a little unusual about our weather here today? Let's talk to this guy right here. What's your name? Tanner. Tanner, what is so unusual about our weather here today? The wind is blowing west, not west going to east. It's east going to west. That is exactly right. It's east going to west. So the first part of this question we kind of went over. The unusual part is the winds are blowing east to west. So the other part of this is, who can tell me? I'm going to stand up here a little bit and try not to run into anybody, so I'm so sorry. Forgive me if I do. So who can tell me where do the winds and where does our weather usually come from? I saw a hand go up right here. Let me get down up front here. What's your name? Um, Ella. Ella. My name is, my daughter's name is Eleanor. Which is, oh, what's that? I love that. So where does the wind usually blow from? Where do our systems usually come from? Yeah, I think it newly builds from the west. It exactly builds from the west. That's why Mr. Tan over here said that the backwards day that we've got going on, that's what I like to call it, a backwards day, that our storms are moving east to west. Weird. Uh -huh. Totally weird. Well, the reason we've got that is because my answer to that is up on our board over here. I know we're not gonna be able to see it at home, but in another few minutes, we'll be able to talk about exactly why our weather is kind of backwards here today, because it's something unique to the Northern Hemisphere. Does that sound cool? Yeah! It should, because that's where we live. Okay, Beacon Heights, be ready for it, because in about another 25 minutes, we're gonna talk a little bit more and we're gonna have a few more special questions. But you ready to do some weather today? Okay, let's do it. Let me step out of the way, but the entire time, why don't you look up here and wave to everybody because you're on TV right now. Okay, so let's start to where we are, looking downtown with the clouds that are there. And here's a look at real-time temperatures where it has been chilly, but we got to get right to what's going on with rain. And here's what I'm talking about to Beacon Heights second graders right now with the showers that are moving east, southeast, to northwest. A little bit weird. We've had rain east part of the state. And we're looking for rain also that's expected east and southwest. So what's going on with the rain, showers, and storms right now, we can show it to you at home right now that we've got an area of low pressure. We've got a storm that's churning around right over Utah, right over the southwestern part of the state. And because of that, we get the winds that come around a storm in an area of low pressure that most usually turn counterclockwise. And so as the winds go around that area of low pressure, we are in the winds that are from east to west. So right into the Pinpoint Futurecast forecast, what we're watching here is the chance of showers and storms today that we've had pretty much every day this week, right? And we're going to have another one of these days here today. But this storm that I just showed is going to move over the top of us today, and it's going to move away tomorrow. And that means things are going to be, instead of wetter, they're going to be the opposite. They're going to be what? Drier. And then as we go into your weekend forecast, maybe, well, is there something important going on this weekend? Like a holiday or something? Like we don't have to come back here on Monday? Memorial Day. I heard a few people saying that. Do you think we might want to be outdoors this weekend? Yeah. Okay, I think <laughs> I think a few more might want to say that. Does anybody have any plans for the pool this weekend? No. I see a couple of hands. Okay, let's put it this way. Your best days to be at the pool are most likely to be Saturday and Sunday. By Memorial Day itself, I'm not thinking it's going to be that great. 
and it's going to be a little cooler. Well, I shouldn't say it's not going to be that great. Let me take that back. Memorial Day will be cooler. So with St. George, let's get right to your seven-day forecast. We've got a chance of showers and storms, but today should decrease as the storm moves away. And then over the weekend, you as well will be looking at storms that are going to be not as likely on Saturday looks to be your best day in around 80 degrees. But Salt Lake City, here we go. Today, chance of widely scattered storms, chance of a storm tomorrow. But as we get into the weekend, I think Saturday could be the best day. We're lower 70s and sunnier skies, just a little bit of a breeze. Okay, second graders, Beacon Heights, are you ready to talk a little bit more weather when we come back? Yeah. I have been impressed with your answers so far, Mr. Tanner, Miss Ella, and all the rest of us. High fives galore, and we will be back with more high fives and the end of our weather school year here on ABC 4 News Midday and Weather School. Don't attack the weatherman. We still need him. Bye, everybody.